Hi everybody, it's Anita with Discover Sonoma County Living and Keller Williams Real Estate and I'm going to do an end of the year 2020 market update and wrap up and then I'm going to talk about some things that you might want to keep an eye on in 2021 coming up next. So what's happening here at the end of 2020? Well, let's talk about November because real estate numbers are usually a month behind and that's kind of the wrap up for the year. We'll report December numbers in January. So in November, 436 houses were sold, which was 12% more than last year with 23% less inventory. So what does that mean for everybody? Well, if you're a seller or you've been thinking about selling, that's like the perfect seller's market, right? I mean, who doesn't wanna sell their house when nobody else is selling their home? You wanna sell when you're kind of alone out there. Well, you're not really alone, but you know what I mean. What better time to get over asking price because buyers are groveling for your home than now? The buyers are getting less than 3% interest rate Anybody who's out looking at a buyer as a buyer right now is serious. They got their money packaged up, they're getting a great rate, and they're excited about buying a new house. So for the seller, it's a great time to put your house on the market because if you price it to sell and they love your house, they're gonna stick around and they're gonna compete with the other buyers for your home. So it is a premier seller's market. At Keller Williams, we talk a lot about all the multiple offers happening right now. And what else would you want if you were a seller? I mean, sellers are always asking realtors, so what's the best time to put my house on the market? Now, that's the answer. This is a great time to put your house on the market. And things move at a snail's pace in real estate, so it's gonna be slow like this with low inventory up till April. I mean, that's about as far as I can see ahead. So um, get your house on the market. <laughs> that's uh, a really smart thing to do now because the buyers are serious and they wanna buy and well, they'll compete for your house. So that's kind of the end of the year market here in 2020. Now let's talk about some things that I think are super important for 2021. And uh, I made a list because there are three really important things to talk about. The first is forbearance and eviction and foreclosure. They're not really connected, but they kind of are. So forbearance and, and foreclosure are connected because when a person needs to go into forbearance, and by the way, there are 11 million Americans in forbearance right now approximately. So a lot of people had to call their lender and say, can I arrange with you to not pay my mortgage for three or four months? And the thing with forbearance is once it's over, you have to pay it all back in one lump sum for the most part. From what I understand, some lenders are creating payment plans, so to speak, so that people can pay that back over a period of time along with paying mortgage again, their regular mortgage. So there are arrangements being made. But even with all of that, some people are gonna have to sell their house to pay bills and to stay aloft. So forbearance is bearing down on people and it's gonna be a thing to keep your eye on in 2021. The eviction and foreclosure moratorium, which was put on by the president, uh, basically said that your landlord can't kick you out and your bank can't kick you out uh, if you can't pay mortgage or rent through December 31st, which is but a few days away. And uh, that is basically over on January 1st. So what happens? A lot of stuff is gonna happen. Will it be extended? There's massive talk on the newsways or the airways um, that it could be just extended through January. But nonetheless, homeowners and renters are going to keep need to keep their eye on the market uh, because uh, there, there's a change coming and normalcy is coming again. So it's a time to prepare. That's how I would kind of frame up 2021. It's a time to keep your eye on the market and to know what's coming down the pipe. 
So if you are an investor and you own rental properties, you're probably thinking of selling a few of them. And some investors are keeping their eye on the market because there's going to be some distressed properties that they're going to want to scoop up and buy. So there'll be a lot of activity in this realm of real estate because of the pandemic and its effect on the economy, people's jobs, and their ability to hold on to their homes. So that's worth keeping an eye on. The second thing is that the government is printing money like crazy. It's print more money, printed more money since July than any other period in time. I just watched and saw a graph that was shocking how much money is being printed right now. And that always leads to inflation and inflation affects every single American's lives. It's not a good thing. It takes decades, years to get away from inflation. There's all kinds of things um, fluttering around that and, and reasons why that happens. But the government printing a lot of money is usually the telltale sign that inflation is around the corner. So keep an eye on that. You might want to read a little or watch a little Robert Kiyosaki and the Stansberry Report on YouTube so that you too can keep informed about these rather big events that are going to be a part of uh, the 2021 news cycle. Lastly, I've already mentioned this, but Yahoo and awesome deal for buyers. Interest rates are below 3%, get out and buy a house. There are all kinds of new homes on the market, which I'll talk about in a second. And um, it is an optimal time for buyers to buy. You have the lowest rent on your money, if you're getting a loan, than ever in the history of all history. So if you can make arrangements to buy a new house, uh, good for you. You're going to get a great deal and um, it's just all around good, good, good. The last thing I really wanted to talk about before I wrap up the year is I have an all new YouTube channel, Facebook channel, Instagram channel, all called Discover Sonoma County Living along with my website. And on all of these platforms, I'm going to be posting my newest focus, which is new homes in Sonoma County. There are 30,000 new homes going up in this county in the next five, seven, eight, nine years. 30,000. You heard me right. 30,000 new homes. And I know you're driving around seeing a lot of them being built right now, but there's more to come. So because inventory is low and things move at a snail's pace in real estate, and economics and, and life in general, it's a good time to think about buying a brand spanking new home. They cost you less in the long run by a long shot. You'll have lower utility bills and, and a lot of other expenses just don't even exist because maintenance is basically nothing. The uh, contractor who built your new house has you in warranty on a lot of stuff for several years after you own the house. So if something breaks, they replace it or they fix it. So the maintenance on a new house, the utility bills on a new house, and a lot of other things are fantastic and worth looking into. Who doesn't want to be the first person to move into a house? So I'll be posting new information on all the new uh, developers and the developments and um, old versus new and all kinds of information about buying a new home in 2021. So hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll get all my future videos. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you look in, uh, not the comments section, but the section below here that has all my free stuff. If you're relocating or you know somebody who is, send them this link because they can print my buyer's guide or relocation guide or a seller's guide. And uh, that always gives you a good start if you're starting to dig into the process of buying or selling a home. I give away all kinds of free stuff all year long down below every single video. And to wrap up the year, I love my heroes. I'm an affiliate with Homes for Heroes. I give away big fat checks after you buy or sell a home to anybody who qualifies 
as a hero. Those are our first responders, our active and retired military, our great teachers, our dentists, our veterinarians, and well, a whole myriad of other people who are our heroes. I love giving back to you. I thank you very much for all you've done in 2020. And well, we're wrapping it up here. 2020 is out the door and 2021 is coming in. Happy New Year and I'll see you around the neighborhood.